Welcome back to the channel guys, this is Van City Audi, my name is Adam, and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the 4 inch Unitronic air intake system and the integrated engineering cold air intake system. Now I've used the integrated engineering for almost a full year now, in my opinion it's been the gold standard of air intake systems. A lot of records have been broken on that intake, a lot of flow, a lot of horsepower. But Unitronic has come to the mark, come to market with a brand new four inch intake system of their own. I'm gonna put it on the dyno, get before and after comparisons, and see which one makes more power on a stock turbo. Keep in mind everybody, I am right now currently running a Unitronic stage two ethanol file. That's between an E60 and an E85 blend. Right now my car has been set up this way for some time now. All my latest videos, my nine second quarter mile passes have all been on this setup. Nothing has been changed. I am back at Evolution Auto Performance in Maple Ridge to have this dyno testing done where I've had all my other dynos done. Last time I was here, I ran 516 wheel horsepower and 522 pounds foot of torque. That was on the custom code drag racing file. Today is the first time I'm going to be dynoing the car on Unitronic software. I'm very excited to see how much power this car makes on my current setup. Then I'm going to strip out the current intake that is integrated engineering, put in the brand new 4 inch uh, Unitronic intake system and run it again. The first run I'm actually going to be using their racing filter. That's supposed to get a bit more flow and be more equally matched to the integrated engineering. Then I'm going to pop on their daily use filter. It's a red filter compared to the blue, which is the racing filter. And run it again to see if there's that much of a power loss between the racing filter and the standard filter. So I'm here, the guys are just strapping down the car right now. We'll head over there and see how it's going. So here we are, this is my current setup. This is with the integrated engineering intake. Four inch Unitronic turbo inlet. IROS intercooler downpipe and midpipes running ethanol. This is what we're going to be doing the first hit on. All right guys, got all the fans set up, as much airflow as we can get over this baby. Fourth gear, 2500 RPM pull, front wheel drive only utilizing the hull deck switch. Gives it a more accurate read on power. Let's see what this baby puts down. So one pull in, I'm not sure if that registered properly, but that was 572 wheel horse. I've never even come remotely close to that before on the custom code software. With that being said, it is very cold today. It's probably about zero or one degree Celsius out. So cars pulling in seriously dense air, but we're not sure if that pull worked. We're gonna let it cool down a bit and run it again to make sure that baseline number is accurate on the integrated engineering intake system. All right, so that first run was 572 wheel horse and 524 pounds foot. We're not sure if that was a clean run or not, so we let it cool a bit and we're gonna do it again now. Same setup, same tune, no, no parts have been changed. We'll see if this beast is actually making that much power or not.
gravity wheel, 553 torque. Wow. That sounded way cleaner. Now that we have our baseline numbers, here is the new Unitronic 4-inch intake system that we're putting in. Now it comes standard with the red daily driver filter, but I opted for the blue racing filter as well. As you can see, it's slightly bigger. We're going to get this installed now and see how much more power we can make. Here is the integrated engineering intake system fully removed. I've actually removed the filter as well because I wanted to show you guys a comparison. These are the filters side by side and their sizes. As you can see, the integrated engineering filter is massive, especially compared to the daily driver use of the red one for the Unitronic. First one I'm gonna be comparing though is the racing filter. So we're gonna see how much of a difference, if any, that a significantly smaller filter makes. So the new intake has been installed. The only problem we had is the diverter and the breather line, you actually have to use the OEM pieces, whereas I switched from an integrated box to this and it doesn't come with it. So the guys at Evolution managed to jimmy rig something together. So it's not the OEM parts, but it's more than sufficient to get this done for testing purposes today. Now that we have it installed, we're going to do the first dyno run. Unitronic has now been installed. First pull. Let's see if this baby makes more power or not. Another hit. So while we're waiting for the car to cool, looks like we got a gain of anywhere between five to six horsepower and a gain of about five pounds foot. So that's off the first run. I'm trying to duplicate the exact same conditions, let it cool for a bit, and do one more pull on the racing filter. So we've done one hit so far on the racing filter with gains, horsepower, and torque. We let it cool for a bit. Now we're gonna do a second hit to see if it's learned, adapted, the same, a little bit of heat soak, who knows? But I'm here to do the best I can to show you guys the accuracy of my results with making the first pulls the same as the second. Here we go. setup. Now we're going to put in the daily driver filter, the red filter that comes with your Unitronic system when you just buy it as is. 
uh, I paid extra to get that racing filter that I'll be running during the racing season. But as it is winter here, as you can tell, it's bloody cold out. Uh, I'm going to be using that daily driver filter for the next few months as I switch over to pump gas in the coming week. So I want to give you guys an understanding of what the car does with the standard filter as well. We'll see how much power, or how sorry, how much less power it makes compared to the racing setup. Final pull to see what it does with the red standard filter on the 4-inch Unitronic setup. standard with the Unitronic setup and see how it performs. Get the car to cool a bit down compared to what it was before to make sure all the poles are even. One more pull to see if it does any better or if that final reading that we just had is what it's going to stand as. So to be fair, we want to give every single filter that we try two pulls. The first pull on the standard filter was 573 and 548. We're going to give it one final try to see if it does any better. There it is guys, yet another product from Unitronic that I decided to bring to a third party testing facility <laughs> and do it for myself to see whether the parts are actually making power and worth that investment. For a guy like me that wants to go balls out as fast as you can, making as much power as I can, the racing filter setup on the Unitronic intake definitely makes more power than the integrated engineering setup. If you're a guy that just wants your user functionality day to day making a bit more power, integrated engineering and the standard Unitronic filter are very, very comparable from what I could tell on the dyno runs today. That last dyno run, I think it was a little heat soaked and that's why it was so much down on power, the repeated runs. We let it cool in between, but possibly not enough. Everything gets pretty damn hot. We've got all the fans on it, but it still gets hot. So I hope that gives you guys some definitive proof, an answer for you guys to know if it's worthwhile to spend your money on the brand new four inch intake system from Unitronic. I'm super thrilled that I did because I'm that kind of guy that wants to push their car, their motor, their turbo as hard as they possibly can to go as fast as I possibly can. 
That's the first time that I've dynoed this vehicle on Unitronic software and I was blown away with the results. Not only the performance of the intake, but the software. This is the first time that I've actually seen that number up there. 578 horsepower, wheel horsepower, that's mental. So I know that it's much cooler today than the last time I was here at Evolution Auto Performance. Uh, it's probably about 20 degrees Fahrenheit cooler. So the car is definitely going to make more power. The air is a lot more dense, but it still pulls harder. As you guys know, the guys that have followed my channel and paid attention from day one, watching my journey, it definitely made significantly more power on the Unitronic software than it did on the custom code software I used to run. I hope this comparison was good and I hope you guys liked it. I know a lot of people were private messaging me questioning, when are you gonna get that done? When are you gonna get it installed? When are you gonna get those results? There it is guys, proof, it makes more power. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, like, share. If you guys have questions, feel free to email me, DM me on Instagram, whatever it may be. But keep in mind, a lot of the questions that you ask are probably already in my videos. I put out a bunch of videos on different performance parts. The performance part uh, that I did before this one is the Unitronic 4-inch turbo inlet. You actually can look in the description below. I'll put a link to that video to show the power gains that I made on that as well, as well as many any other questions, my wheels and tire setup that I use for drag racing, a bunch of my videos cover a lot of those topics. So feel free to check them out, go around my channel and see what kind of uh, answers to the questions you may have you might be able to find just from watching the videos. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate all the support you guys given me. Keep tuned. A few days from now, another video, switching back to pump gas. I can't handle these cold starts on ethanol. I'll be putting out a video on how to switch from Unitronic ethanol file to Unitronic pump gas file. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.